Congratulations on the win, guys, uh, over the weekend. Uh, tell us, what's the last couple of days looked like with the Wallabies under Joe Schmidt? What are some of the differences, perhaps, between him and reviews and some of the other coaches you've worked with? Perhaps with you, Rob, first. You know, it's been, uh, it's been good. Uh, been thorough as well with our review. Um, yeah, I guess a lot different from uh, from last year uh, with reviewing that. Um, sort of reminds me a bit of uh, Reds a bit, uh, just with, uh, the way he is. And uh, no, but it's been good. Uh, a lot of players have uh, been on the laptops doing a lot of reviews as well. So uh, a lot of boys taking that um, that part on themselves and. Uh, you know, that's probably been the best part is that the computers are full and everyone's uh, reviewing themselves. Rob, I imagine a fair bit of confidence comes out of winning a victory in front of a really healthy crowd in Sydney. W what does a victory like that do for morale uh, to keep the season off in style like you did? Yeah, uh, it's been good. Uh, boys have been happy. Um, you know, but I think we know uh, if we were in the Wells uh, camp, this week, I think they would uh, be putting everything into this week and you know throwing everything at us on Saturday. So I think we're happy with the win and uh, just knowing that we've got to get on with our job and knowing it's going to be another tough match this week. And um, yeah, we just got to keep working and uh, rolling up our sleeves and uh, you know knowing that we've got another job to do. Now, just a question on the uh, both of you grew up in in Melbourne. Uh, I'm sure the city and the state. Is a really one dear to your hearts. Like, how uh, meaningful is it to play a test match given the last six, seven, eight months? Um, what's happened with the Rebels? How meaningful is it to play on, on, on home soil? Yeah, so good. Um, I played here a couple of times uh, in the gold jersey and uh, sort of get a lot of confidence and motivation out of it just knowing that uh, I was born and bred here and uh, knowing that I'll have. Uh, a lot of family in the crowd as well, so um, yeah, if I get the chance to play again this week and uh, have family in the crowd, uh, yeah, I'll be you know willing to put my butt on the line for for them and for the team. What about, what about you, Hunter? Like, your your journey in Melbourne was a, a, an interesting one too, with a couple of different stories, but you forged your kind of career throughout playing in the junior ranks there as well. Um, Yep, and no, obviously it's it's, uh, it's good to be back uh, here in Melbourne to to play, and um, obviously like Rob played a few games here with the Reds and uh, that front series a couple of years ago, so um, it would be good to be back uh, playing in front of some uh, friends and family. I was going to say you guys both came through the Harlequin Club. Was there any crossover between you two, sort of playing together or you know being around the club at the same time? And I guess what's the, what's the memories? Yeah, uh, me and Hunter actually played together a few times. Uh, through under 18s, maybe 16s? 20s. Oh, yeah, 20s, uh, big 20s as well. So, um, yeah, we had a few games together. Um, yeah, it was just good to, I don't know, come through that uh, Harlequins and then uh, to see where we are now and uh, to be able to play against, uh, with each other is, uh, yeah, amazing. I guess the hundreds. That's when you cherish even more now being back in the gold jersey, playing alongside someone like Rob, and then seeing almost that next generation and Isaac now come through. Yeah, no, it's always um, it's good to see Isaac come through. Um, you know, we we're one of those guys when we first started at Harlequins. We but all three of us are Harlequins boys, so uh, it's good to see another Harlequin boy um, come out into the string. Just sort of missing the sort of World Cup and sort of twenty twenty three of the Test season. What does it mean to sort of? be back in that gold jersey do you sort of give yourself time on the field to sort of look at it and just sort of soak it all in all, all that sort of hard work coming to fruition uh yep obviously missing the world cup was uh disappointing but uh for me the biggest one is just to enjoy enjoy and have fun um, while i'm doing it so yep and having um your club mate fluky outside you does that sort of help you just sort of get back into it like it's just sort of any another game uh yep fluky is uh he's been good it makes my job a lot easier on the field um Doing all the running, so um, yeah, it's gonna, <laughs> he's gonna have flicky um, outside me. And just sort of on this sort of attacking performance, what sort of come out of that um, sort of that video session to sort of about how to just sort of clean that up and get the sort of backline working at its sort of best cap capabilities? Um, yeah, he, he was obviously with the Welsh um, 
the fans they love to get up high on the edge so a little bit of views for us is just to um, get harder and uh, connect a bit more with our, with our tens. Uh, Hunter, you mentioned um, missing out on the World Cup squad. Now that you're back in the team and you've got a start in the 12 jersey, how motivating is it uh, to want to hang on to that shirt and try and make it your own? Yeah, no, it's a, it's a goal of mine um, each week. So, And the biggest one is for me, is just like I said, just got to enjoy it and, uh, and have fun while I'm, while I'm here. And uh, Rob, a uh, different back row, I guess, last week. New man at six, the skipper himself. How did you find um, the three of you work together? Yeah, no, it felt good. Um, thought Ron, uh, Ron has learned well as well for you know, his first time captaining uh, Australia. Um, you know, had a lot of confidence in Ron and, and Fraser as well. Uh, obviously coming through, uh, you know, playing under 20s with him and um, playing a few seasons with him as well uh, in the gold jerseys. So, um, yeah, just had a lot of confidence in, in both of them and uh, just knowing that, um, that they were going to do their job as well. So sort of made my job easier. Um, so yeah, it's about good out there. And with Rongers in particular, actually, describe him as a captain because he had six of them last year. How does he compare and I guess what else does he bring um, special to the group as a leader? Yeah, I feel like he's a, a natural leader. Um, he leads it through his actions as well, not just his words, uh, which is um, always good for the boys as well. Uh, it's sort of easier to, to follow someone when they're, when they're doing that. Um, but yeah, he's, he's calm as well. Um, which is something I like about him uh, out on the field. Uh, it, and I, I know if I listen to him and um, someone that's calm, it sort of calms me down as well in, in those uh, tight moments towards the end there. So, uh, yeah, it was good to have him out there. So now that you've, uh, you've got that win, finally, <laughs> and it's a break that streak, um, describe the confidence levels, I guess, for the group to try and build off that. Is that. Does a win almost add pressure when you come into a second test of a series or does it give you confidence that you can push on? Yeah, I sort of think back to uh, old Wallabies teams. Uh, we haven't won back-to-back -back games uh, that many times in uh, the past few years. So I think it's all about um, you know just knowing that we've got another job to do, uh, sort of moving on from the weekend and uh, training this week. Uh, but yeah, a lot of confidence in the group. You know, knowing this is our uh, third week together and knowing that we can put a performance out like that on Saturday. Um, yeah. A lot of confidence within the group and knowing that we can still build. Cheers, boys. Hey, Bobby, um, you seemed like you really grew a leg in that last 20 minutes, even in the in the test. There was lots of physicality, uh, hitting guys pretty hard. And oh, Have you really embracing like, that enforcer <laughs> kind of role in the pack? Is that something that you've wanted to develop in your game as well? Yeah, uh, I guess so. Um, yeah, I just thought... Um, first half I, was, I wasn't getting through much work and um, sort of through the second half I thought I could put uh, a lot of pressure on on the on the uh, Wales players so um, yeah I couldn't really get uh, my hands on the ball that much so sort of had to go through, through the defence area um, which is what I tried to do and uh, yeah lungs, lungs were pretty cooked after the game so yeah happy uh. with it. And, and Hunter, there was, it seemed like you guys were implementing a, a nice short kicking game as well, and maybe that's because of the Welsh line speed. Just wondering, like, you, you've done that a lot throughout this year with the Reds. When you have to jump into a new environment with the Wallabies, um, with extra expectation and so forth, what's it like? Uh, and is that a game plan of yours to, to bring that? kicking game in, but also what's it like transitioning from super into international rugby and trying to do that? Um, yep, obviously uh, from the Reds to, to the Wallabies, I, I find Les and Joe very, very similar. Um, Joe loves his little cross kicks and you can see he passed it on to Ireland and, and the Kiwis as well, so he just wants the ball to get there ASAP, so that was part of our, our game plan. but. Um, Again, we've got to pick the right moments when to do that. So, Yeah, and when, when you've been out of the environment for a while, how do you kind of feel in terms of the pressure and being able to handle that? And then, you know, everyone's judged so much on every move, um, but it's not necessarily easy when it's your first test in 18 months. What, what's it like being able to handle that expectation and delivering and focusing it on the moment? Uh, 
Um, yeah, that comes down to, to my prep. Um, you know, if I get my prep right during the week, I know I'll just go out there and do my job for the team and um, and just be myself on that field. And yeah, and like I said, enjoy and, and have fun at the same time. Is that something that has been a little bit different from when you were playing last time to just try to enjoy uh, the moment a little bit more? Yeah, for sure. Obviously, um, this is the year that I've enjoyed my footy most, um, and that comes down to uh, the way that Les and his crew done at Ballymore's uh, sport into our environment. Last couple online, if there's anything else, guys? Yeah, just one more for Rob, actually. Um, Rob, I think you kind of alluded to it before, but um, Wales coming off a loss, what that can do to a group, you know, that hunger to fight back, considering they're on a pretty decent streak at the moment of defeats. Do you think that just compounds and builds up and up and I guess as a result, you expect a bit of a force on Saturday? Yeah, definitely. I think um, you know, they've, come, they've come away from the other side of the world and uh, I think they would be willing to, to try to get one up on us. And I think, uh, you know, if I, if I was in the Wales camp or anything like that, um, I think I'd be putting everything into this week knowing that, uh, you know, it's our last test against the Wallabies or whatnot and then just throwing everything at us. So, um, you know, but we're... We're preparing for that. We know they're going to come hard, and we know that they'll be better off uh, from from the weekend. So, um, yeah, we're just preparing for a really tough and physical uh, Welsh team, and uh, yeah, we're just expecting that. Anything in the room, guys, for Robert Hunter? Just one for me, Rob. Um, you had a good battle against Aaron Wayne on the weekend. He's an important part to play for Wales. Just how important is he? Yeah, he's important for them. Uh, obviously, on the weekend there, you got a uh, you got them on the front front foot there a couple of times. So. Um, you know, we've done a review on him as well, so uh, we'll be looking to uh, yeah get at him earlier uh, and stop him earlier as well. Because once he gets a full head of steam, it's pretty hard to stop. So um, yeah, he's a key player for him. Rob, Australia did a pretty good job of disrupting Wales's lineup. Um, what was the sort of message from Jeff coming into a test? Yeah, exactly that. Um, just get up, uh, get some air pressure. Um, you know, try force some turnovers there as well. So. Um, you know, all of that's from Jeff as well, but also, um, you know, on the players as well, uh, backing, backing each other to get up in the air there and, um, you know, just disrupt some balls there, so um, that was good. And Hunter, how did you find the midfield battle on Saturday? He's going up against a guy who hasn't worn 12 jerseys all that much, to be honest, with Mason Grady. Um, yep, Mason, obviously, these are the midfields are big boys. Uh, um, I'll go for us from Joe. Uh, message from Joe was just to uh, get get underneath them and just give that ball back and uh, look after the ball. Just, just quickly, guys, does anyone have family still living in Melbourne? Uh, and and will they all obviously will try to come to the game on Saturday? Um, yeah, I've still got family here down in Pakenham, so I just have extra tickets sent them as well. So. <laughs> <laughs> and Bobby? Yeah, same. Uh, parents are still down here, and then uh, a couple of siblings as well. So. Um, yeah, they'll probably head down to the game this week, uh, which would be cool.